on this Online students, am I audible? Okay, right. So come out and see. And yesterday we started conversion functions. Okay, and uh, two underscore care function we discussed in the last class. Okay, and a few intervals how to use in our two underscore care function along with your query. So that we discussed in the last one and uh, continuation, guys. Okay, take now. So this is up to here. We take a note. And the next example, write on now. Write a query to display employees. So who are joined? Who are joined? In the month of, in the month of, okay, May, comma, June, comma, December. So May, June, December, in the month of May, June and December. Okay, right. So now how to write and you know that the month intervals what it was there. Okay. So when come back to your database now. Okay. The first of all, uh, check it out your working table. So EMP is my working table and I want it May month, June month and uh, December. So how I can and uh, here you need to add uh, okay one statement here. What is the statement by using by using what to underscore care function by using to underscore care function. Okay, now, so let me come out and see, select a star from AMP where two underscore care of uh, which column here, higher date. So higher date, suppose MM, I'm going to pass in here and here, how many months? Uh, three months. So when it was uh, more than one month, uh, instead of writing your R operator number of times, uh, you can use simply in. And uh, May, May is which month here? Five. So five. And next one is June, uh, six. Uh, and next, uh, 12 December. So 12. So now you can call like this and May, June and uh, December. Okay, now write down below.
now the same as uh, one more let me try now display employees who are joined in the month of december in the month of december in 1981 in the month of december in 1981 by using of two underscore char right on okay right so in this case how i can use it now you are carefully observe in the previous example here december month only i am asking but in december month 1980 people are there 1982 people also came out and 1981 people also came out but now i am asking specific year in the specific year december month who are joined so that means uh, december 1980 will come or not come not come 82 will come only uh, so that means in the specific year december month who was joined that i am going to call okay uh, here observe carefully so december month 1981 i said so by using of two underscore cat okay so how i'm using here careful observe where two underscore hydrate month is equals to what is that 12 12 means what now december month only will come all december people came or not yes out of these all december people i want it a specific year which year 81 so which year 81 so 81 means uh, i just give it one more condition here observe two underscore care of again second condition of writing what is that higher date of which year y y y uh, is equals to 1981 now i'm see here two conditions between which operator i'm using and uh, let me see now so now only that particular year of december people only came okay year end operator means what i said uh, having in the same row so now we are same row na month year both are same row so it was come out here okay na end but if you use r operator how it was come all december's come all years come but i don't want it all december's of all years i want it only 1981 that's why should use a end this is one way you can use for example you feel like this it was very lengthy statement okay now then how i can use it sir means that no need to write multiple conditions here even though you can call mm why 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 close is equals to first what mm what is my mm 12 what next 1981 suppose if you combination you can use like this and to execute again you will get it a same results okay na right right down below you can write this one or else which one is was look like easy okay you can use that no problem
next example. To write a query, write a query to display employees, to display employees who are joined, who are joined in second quarter. Okay, who are joined in second quarter of 1981. So, which employees are joined in second quarter of 1981? So, second quarter means April, May, June. It's the second quarter. Yes or no? Uh, so, April, May, June. In the second quarter of 1981, how many employees are joined in my company? Okay, now? Uh, so, understand how to write now? Uh, now, you can see how to find out quarter. Q. Okay. Select a star from EMP where two underscore care of what is this year higher date? Higher date, what it is? Q. Then what next? Y, 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 Y. If I'm giving now, is it a? Uh, let me see what it was happened. So, second quarter means uh, two, 1981. Okay, now I can go to execute. So, second quarter, who was joined? April, May, June. Only how many people joined? Three employees. Okay, now. Okay, so like you can use your two underscore cat. Okay, by in your queries. Okay, na? right now you got it. Some idea how to use? Yes or no? Uh, now we can take two underscore date. <laughs> so two underscore data. This function when we want to use means. Uh, Convert, okay, string into, into oracle default data type. To convert a yeah, string, okay, string type to, string type to oracle default data type. Oracle default data, what is that? What is Oracle default format? Uh, DD dash MON dash YY. Okay, MON means first three characters of month. Okay, now that is the default format of Oracle. So, whatever we are passing string type, every string type of data converting into default type. Okay, uh, now we can send. So, take your syntax now. To underscore data of we are passing what now? String. So, come out and see some examples on this, how to converting here. Okay, let me come. For example, we are going to passing like a two underscore data. I am passing some string expression 23. Okay, I am sending August. Okay, 2023 if I am sending now. 
See, this is called as a string format of uh, format. This is A U G U S T. Actually, it is not allowed. But I'm sending your string. When I'm sending string, it was converting into what now? Oracle format. So, to date function, what it will do? Converting user can give any format of string, but it was converting into default format. Okay. Like in the same to same, for example, if I'm giving here, so 20, okay, 12 dash, if I'm giving here June dash 2022, if I'm giving now, it is also converting into Oracle format only. Okay, now, now, and to these formats of data, if I want to suppose I'm giving 10, if I added some 10, what it was happen here, 12 plus 10 days is added, 22, the next date will come, but it is also showing into Oracle format. Suppose in the same as if you want to say minus 10, if I'm giving now, then it was come to 2nd June 2022. So that means whatever the string we passed here, the string will be converting into date and to that data, 10 days minus plus 10 days plus. Okay, now write down below. Any one or two, you just take one or two, okay, na? Take one or two, enough. Okay, so these are what we called it to care to data. Okay, functions. Okay, and next next type of function is what now? Analytical functions. Okay, but you heard observe analytical functions. Okay, uh, I'm not. Uh, we are we are not discussing it now because these analytical functions I discuss you or I discuss with you in specially one concept we are using. Okay, that concept is called as what now? In subquery. Okay, now I just hold it this analytical functions. And uh, when we started subquery concept, again, this analytical functions, what it is, how to use, reasons, advantages, there we will see along with the subquery program or subqueries. Okay, if I give it some examples, subquery example with, uh, if you use analytical function, you can understand more uh, clarity. If I'm giving now, definition only I'm giving. So you didn't understand. That's why in-depthly we are discussing under subqueries. So up to there, I just hold it now. Okay, right. And the second type, what is the second type? Multiple row functions, right on below. So single row all are completed now, except, except analytical remaining all are covered. Numeric, character, date, conversion. Okay, this is we will see in the subquery in the future classes. Okay, right. Then we can take next multiple row functions. multiple row functions. So, multiple row functions, these functions, how it was work, it means that these functions are working on some group of uh, values. Group of values, it will work and returning some single value. Returning single value, but working on group of values. Okay, now, write down here. <coughs> To working on, to working on group of uh, values. Okay. So multiple row functions are, these functions are, hmm, these functions are, ah, 
so now uh, very easy these are all are okay so sum function average function min function max function next uh, count function so these are called as a multiple row functions we call okay now Now I don't want to give proper. Uh, that means uh, more uh, time is no no need to spend on this here. So it was very easy for you and easy to understand. Okay, I I don't want to give much explanation on this. Okay, right. So just write on here sum. Uh, in the name only there the sum function we are using to finding of a total. Whenever you find out total, you can use. Uh, okay. So now write down to find out a total. Okay, value. And here, how this sum function will be working, sir, means that whenever you need find out, uh, okay, some total salary of the employees, okay, otherwise a uh, total student fees, okay, how much total fee, okay, a total salary, okay, so like a total price of your products when you purchasing some products, so in that cases, so sum function will be useful, okay. Uh, for example, let me come out and see. Suppose I just have your table EMP. Okay, in this we have total fourteen employees, sir. We have it here, and fourteen employees salary, sir. We need. Okay, we have your. Suppose I need to find out what is the total salary of the employees. Then what we want to do simply we are writing select which function sum on which column we applied a salary column we applied it. Then from what I have to say from EMP table. Then what is your total salary? Twenty nine thousand zero two five. This is the total salary we are spending on my employees. How many employees? Fourteen. Suppose, sir, I don't want it. This all employees. I want to calculate the total salary of particular department. So, particular department. If you want it, definitely we have to use what now? Where class? Suppose a department number twenty, DPT number twenty. Then department number twenty. How much here? Ten thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. Is only which department? Twentieth department. All employees are twenty-nine thousand. Only tenth twentieth department people are ten thousand. Okay, like either specific one or all, you can go to find right down below. Right now, some function. Next average. Now write down to find out to find out the average the average of total. To find out the average of total value. Suppose you need to know, okay, my total employee salary basis. What is the average salary of the employee? So for each employee, average salary, how much now? Okay, uh, now we can apply here what now? AVG. So I'm just applying your AVG. So automatically total will be calculated. That means uh, the advantage of this function, what it was means, uh, fastly we can find out the uh, 
average because generally if i need to calculate average what is the formula so average is equals to uh, total value by number of objects or items yes or no uh, so that means here generally if i have to do manual process first what we need to find out total so first we need to calculate a total okay calculate a total means which function some function you have to implement next what now number of employees number of employees means what now count function so some function through first total count count total calculate total uh, count function through how many number of employees are there you need to find out after finding total and count of employee by total by count of employee is called as a average so that means here how many actions internally do first finding sum it is a one action finding number of people it is a another action after that we are finding average this is another action so total 3 but here this all three internally your oracle will do so user no need to do that automatically your oracle will do total sum count total by count is equals to average so this much process internally your oracle will be perform and that we are not seeing that but internally it was uh, performing like that and uh, directly it was showing to average and this much process user no need to do okay na write down below next one min function so min function we we will know that okay it return minimum value that's it it return minimum value so the minimum value if i need to find out in the particular column salary column what is the minimum salary higher date column what is the minimum higher date okay marks minimum marks okay na so these kind of things we need to do by using of what now min function so now for example suppose if i am asking here the min function in my entire table okay in my entire table what is the minimum salary in emp table 800 like we can find out in this entire table what is the minimum higher date in my table 17 december 1980 so these are enter the table you can calculate or you can find out like this but where has come to particular suppose i have to know where job is equals to manager so in manager job what is the least salary in the manager job so what is the least salary in manager job 2450 so like min function you have to use right on below max max function right so max function uh, it returns which value maximum value okay 
suppose i just give it this query okay uh, now your count function important it is somewhat important focus on this okay right so basically count function okay where you want to use means uh, counting of some values okay for example in my table how many number of rows are there okay how many number of columns are there okay otherwise uh, in particular department how many number of employees are working yes or no so these kind of uh, some any counting or countable of items okay in that cases we need to use what now count function but here count function again it was classified into three types guys here one is count of star one is we called as a count of a column name is a second one and again the same function will okay the what we can say classified here another way that's called a distinct column name so these are the three ways it was going to be divided but here sir what is the mean by star column name distinct column name and what is the differences between count of star if i use what it was happen count of column name and count of a distinct column name okay now the three differences i will show you here absurd first of all i'm going to design one sample table in my database so present how many tables are there in my database okay uh, what is that tab uh, almost 15 tables we have in this year almost uh, 15 tables sir we have here okay na right so now one table i am creating here create a table the table name is test okay so what we called a serial number and what we called a name so where get to of some size then after few names i'm inserting here into the this test table so serial number one and a is a string type i inserted now and uh, next time using your serial number two and uh, writing your b okay so next time using your serial number three and i'm using c next time using your three okay serial number four and now i'm passing what null next time passing your serial number five comma a next time passing your serial number six comma okay c okay now right i just commit this data to permanently save and then come back your table okay this is my table guys in this table if i want to ask here total how many number of rows are there six rows but six rows how it was going to be say including of your duplicate and null now tell me how many duplicate names two was there a and c how many nulls one these are that means including duplicates and null total how many six we have yes or no uh, so the same thing count of star was what it was tell us what it was tell us means uh, 
count of star is going to be ah uh, now write down below counting counting all rows all rows including including all rows including duplicates and nulls counting all rows including duplicates and nulls so you yeah, don't write i am giving some demo table for your practicing purpose but don't take this here just a practicing purpose so this demo table i am giving to you now write on counting all rows including duplicates and nulls mm. so what is my requirement here okay so now you can say how to write here select what is this count of star from which table test table so now we can come out and see suppose this is my table now i'm using here select count of star from test table of user and what it was showing to me six six means counting duplicate ah huh? uh, you are a a c c duplicate rows are counting and null null row also counting so total how much uh? six uh, that is what it was a uh, count of star star means what no counting all values including duplicates and uh, nulls right down below then count will be show six okay na right so it was showing six then what about the count of column name what about the count of a column name count of column name count of column name uh, it was also counting counting all rows okay including duplicates including duplicates but not uh, nulls including duplicates but not uh, nulls Okay, yeah, careful, sir. Your yeah, column name means which column I have to give. For example, let me see. This is my serial number and name column is there. Suppose if I am going to passing in place of star, I am passing serial number column. What it was happen? It observed in this serial number column, your Oracle server will go to checking is there any duplicate or null is there or not. So now tell me, do you have any duplicates? Any nulls? No. In which column? serial number so that's what it was showing here it was showing six only so now you people have a confusion sir count of star is also showing six count of serial number is also showing six then what is the difference both are same now okay uh, now you can get some idea some doubt like that okay so now how you know the differences of count of star and count of column name how you know means here you must be pass a column in which column you have a duplicates and nulls in which column you are storing duplicate and nulls that column you should give it then only you can understand that the differences of star and column name 
Okay. Ah, now here I am giving serial number. Same result because of reason. Serial number is not having any duplicate, not having any null. But the same thing I am giving what name? What it was happening? You can see. So now it was seeing here name. What it was showing? Five. Which is count? Which is not count? Ah, uh, duplicates are counting. Null is not counting. So there is a difference here, right? No. Hmm. This is column name difference, and next one is what now? Distinct keyword. Ah, uh, can you tell me? I think we discussed a distinct keyword. Remember, what is the main distinct? Ah, uh, duplicates are not counting. Okay. Ah, uh, now you can write now. So when we use distinct keyword, what it was happening, guys? Here. So simply you can say counting. Counting. Unique values only. So unique values means what now? There is no duplicates. There is no duplicates and there is no nulls. Okay, all right. So now ERC. Suppose I come to my database. Now you can observe same thing, same name, but I was given here distinct. When I was given distinct keyword, okay. When I was given distinct keyword, okay. What distinct keyword will do? It was eliminated your duplicates and also nulls. So that means A, B, C, three only count. Second A not counting. Second C not counting. Null not counting. Right over below. Okay, na? so these are what we called uh, grouping functions or multiple row functions or aggregative functions. Okay, na? there are three ways we can call these functions. Okay, na? and these functions are called as your predefined functions in our database. So our Oracle database supported two types of functions, predefined and user defined. So these are all are comes under predefined category and predefined data. Okay, so predefined functions sir, we discussed. But next thing, one more part was there. That is what now user defined. But user defined functions I cannot create by using SQL language. SQL language is not supported. That's why which language we required here? 
PLS. So this is in the second part. I will explain to you what is what. Okay, na? Hmm. Right. And up to this notes, I will upload to you. Okay, right. And this two links I uploaded, okay, na? Right. And the next one, here observe. These are predefined, okay. But uh, next, uh, one more new concept, right on below. Okay, before you want to know that concept, okay, uh, let me come out and see. I will ask you a few things here, okay, and you just tell me how to fulfill these requirements now. Okay, now this is your entire table, okay, now mm. out of this 14 table, if I wanted a specific employee details. Which employee I wanted, whose employee number double seven double eight. So double seven double eight employee details I have to fetch or retrieve from this table. But my condition is what now? Don't use a where class. Without where class, how to fetch a specific row employee? Tell me how to write now. Select a select a star from employee number is equals to double seven double eight. Huh? 
without wear. No. As of now, we discuss operators, right? Mm. Functions also we discuss. Now, use is there any operator, any function will fulfill my requirement? Hmm? In, but in of, uh, in before also we are using where class. Check it out. Is there any function? Is there any operator? Is there without where? How to fetch my required row from the table? Check all of you. Any operator? Any function? To get whose employee number double seven double eight employee details. Check it out. Having any operator or any function to get double seven double eight employee. As as keyword we are using only alias names, no? Uh, in alias levels, we are using as keyword. Like. Like operator. But like operator before we are using where class now. Oh, so that is also not. Any function is there? Check. Hmm? Call. Or. Huh? Lawyer. Lawyer function, upper function. No. Ah, uh, is it possible? Huh? Not possible. Simple. So where class condition without where class condition, you never finding specific row. You never deleting a specific row. You never updating a specific row. So that means uh, where is required? Huh? Mm. That is important for us. Okay. Right. Leave it that. Next, come to here. One of my column is their salary. Is there any order? The salary column values are having any order. Order means ascending order or descending. Do you have any order here? No. Suppose, sir. I want to arrange this column values into ascending order. Ascending means small to big. I want to arrange like that. Is there any function? Is there any operator we have as a 
as as is the just alias name ma don't use a order by without order by any operator any function ha huh? no not at all okay na not at all so this is also we can't okay leave it next question is job column how many jobs in this four a four a ah how many jobs here five jobs that means now what i want to do for each job i need to separate and make it as group my question is what now each job separate and make it as a group that means how many groups are formed five groups that means my column my table data as per job column wise data will be split into how many groups five groups is there any operator function like that no so sir we didn't understand why are you asking these all questions hmm hmm so reason is what now whatever we said sorting data filtering rows grouping data finding sub and grand totals so these kind of uh, operations when you want to perform on your table then operators are not work functions are not work so that means uh, we required uh, one more topic is need uh, and this is very very important topic the topic is called as what now class write down below take clauses now what is clause write down a clause is a statement a clause is a statement a clause is a statement which is used which is used to add to sql query to add to sql query for for providing for providing some, for providing some some additional facilities some additional facilities some additional facilities are ah uh, what is my first facility filtering rows my first facility filtering rows sorting values grouping data okay grouping data next comma to okay to find subtotal and grand total subtotal and grand total based on based on column or columns based on column or columns automatically columns automatically now we can write oracle supporting the following clauses is supporting the following clauses are uh, what are the clauses here first one where second one order by third one group by fourth one having having fifth one roll up sixth one what now q
and uh, if this one we need to add a syntax is what now my syntax is sql query plus what is this clause statement the both combination we need to form a statement so query you can take clause statement you can combine together then you will fulfill your requirements okay na this is your syntax okay na hmm. uh, then let me go for one by one what is where order group by have roll up and uh, cube how these things we want to use uh, how what uh, whatever the facilities i said what is this mean sir you said some facilities here grand uh, total what is this uh, facilities okay na uh, that we will see on a uh, monday session okay so monday we will go for clauses one by one we will discuss okay right guys so i stop it here and we'll continue on monday okay right thank you thank you so much leave yeah already uh, up to as up to today we is added here already material okay na karan complete notes is uploaded already into google classroom once check it out okay right the divya sri i already said na if you forgot it you are user name yeah. okay ah uh, select a user name select a user name from all underscore users the command i sent to you in your chat box once check it out divya the command i sent to you once check it out